weed-infused gum and five other surprising marijuana-based items to help with chronic pain. Not too long ago, I decided that I wanted to give some medicinal marijuana products a try. I have stage 4 endometriosis. This can contribute to chronic pain throughout the month, especially when I'm on my period. But I hate taking the narcotics my doctors prescribed me. I want to believe there's a better way. So, I've been looking into it. Of course, one of the top hits is marijuana for chronic pain. Though there isn't any research yet that conclusively proves marijuana is an effective medication, there are some findings that suggest it has positive results for chronic pain. The thing is, I hate smoking, and I don't enjoy being high. So, I've been looking into what else is out there. I know about CBD oil and CBD pills, but I realize there are a lot of other cool medicinal marijuana products that I'd never heard of. These are perfect for those people, like me, who want the benefits of cannabis without having to smoke or take pills. 1. Gum. Plus gum promises a high for under 5 calories that takes effect within 15 minutes and lasts for 4 hours. The Spearmint 6-pack provides 150 mg of THC, with 25 mg per piece of gum. But they aren't the only gum product on the market. Canchu Gum brings a high CBD strain to the table that promises all the benefits without the high, something that a lot of people using medicinal marijuana are searching for. And Med2RX is currently in clinical trials to use for chronic pain and spasticity in people with multiple sclerosis. 2. Tampons. Because my periods bring on a heightened level of pain, I was especially curious about the weed-infused tampons I'd been hearing so much about. So, imagine my surprise when I discovered they aren't actually tampons, but rather suppositories to be inserted vaginally when a woman is on her period. Foria Relief is the brand behind the product, and if you believe their online reviews, they seem to actually help. 3. T. A recently released study found that sipping your marijuana might be an effective way of dealing with chronic pain. Cannabis-infused tea is something you can actually make yourself, and it's thought to be a method that provides slow-acting but long-lasting administration. Brands like Santa also have hemp tea ready for purchase. 4. Bath Salts To be clear, we're talking about actual bath salts here, not the dangerous street drug you may have heard about. Whoopi and Ma you have an Epsom salt bath soak, which is meant to help combine the pain relief of medicinal marijuana with warm water, and according to their testimonials, it's pretty potent. 5. Coffee. If you're looking to start your day with an extra special pick-me-up, these cannabis coffee pods may be right up your alley. They were just recently released and are said to be compatible with all Keurig coffee brewers. The pods come in different dosing strengths and strains, and can be caffeinated or decaffeinated. They also make tea and cocoa pods, and list new flavors coming soon. Not a fan of the plastic waste? They aren't either. Their pods are 100% compostable for environmental health. 6. Topical Balm Medicated topical bombs work by combining cannabis with other skin-soothing ingredients which is rubbed into your skin to help relieve muscle pain. Leaf Goods has bombs that are available in cedarwood and orange, or lavender and bergamot. They use a mix of conditioning ingredients and cannabis extract to soothe both dry skin and muscle aches. Added plus, they're be free and completely vegan. Take away. What's the downside of these products? Well, unless you live in a state with medicinal marijuana dispensaries and have a card to purchase, you may not be able to get your hands on them anytime soon. Even living in Alaska, where marijuana is 100% legal, I haven't been able to find anything on this list. That's because in Alaska we have plenty of regular marijuana dispensaries, but none for medicinal marijuana. For the time being, states like Washington, California, and Colorado are likely your best bets for finding some of the more unique medicinal marijuana products you may hope to get your hands on. But until federal law catches up with the state's willingness to decriminalize marijuana use, 
you won't be able to travel across state lines with any product containing THC. So, what have I done? Well, for the time being I'm experimenting with CBD oil, a product low enough in THC that it can actually be ordered and shipped online. But I'm visiting some friends in Washington next month, and you'd better believe I already have a list of products I'm hoping to give a try.